Hey, what's up guys? In this episode of Doc's Boost, we're going to talk about painting those letters on your tires. But before we get started, make sure that you click the like button, subscribe, and ring that bell to set the notifications for all the new content coming your way. It really does matter and I appreciate your support. started with excitement and enthusiasm. We're gonna paint some tires, not just any tires, your Mustang tires, not just any Mustang tires, but the GT500 tires. We're gonna paint them Goodyear Eagle F1 supercar tires. We're gonna take it from this and we're gonna make it look like this. So the first thing we gotta do, of course, is get the car up, take the tires off and wash those tires and then we can start the paint. And I'm pretty excited about that. I've been wanting to do it for a long time today's the day but it wasn't long before my plans turned upside down not only did i not have enough paint by a long shot i found out how frustrating painting tires with paint pens really is paint pens trick you into believing you got this only to find out you don't got this but before we talk about the actual painting of the letters on the tires let's talk about finding more paint pens because they had to do that in a hurry. I thought the three pack that I bought from Amazon was going to be in plenty of paint. I soon discovered that that would not be near enough paint. I found myself running around town in search of more tire paint. And this is what I found, including the prices. To start with, the three pack that I bought from Amazon was this. And this paint pen, the SEPA SP110 paint pen, uh, started the job, plunged three to five minutes to get the paint started, and the flow was really irregular. Cost $9.99 for a set of three. At Michael's, I found Craftsmart pens, just like this one for only $4.99 each. This pen delivered varying shades of yellow, and the flow seemed more continuous than the SEPA pen brand. Painting was smoother but not as smooth as the Pioneer from O'Reilly's. And because of the sh varying shades of yellow from the gold to the bright yellow, we use this for the base coat, first coat on all the tires. The Pioneer pen from O'Reilly's just like this is $7.99. This pen was next in line for the ease of painting, as far as ease of painting can be with paint pens because they're all kind of tricky. Starting the pen wasn't much easier but painting seemed more continuous. The flow seemed a little less random but still all paint pens have some random flow issues about them. It produced less stopping and starting. Again $7.99 from O'Reilly's. Then we have the Type S tire marker from AutoZone. In my opinion, and hey, I'm not getting paid for none of this. In my opinion, this was the best pen we used. This pen flowed the best, flowed the easiest, was easier to control, didn't have to get, it didn't take as much time to get started with, and it seemed a lot smoother overall. It was less random, more continuous, and we really enjoyed painting with this one. You know, the whole thing I mentioned earlier was, hey, I got this finally actually meant something when we got to this point in the game. Using the S Pen, the Type S tire marker sold at AutoZone. This one, however, you gotta pay the price. $14.99 a pen. Is it worth it? Is your car worth it? Is your ride worth it? Absolutely, yes, it is worth it. I will include links in the description below for all the paint pens I found and used. With more paint pens collected and back at the house ready to start once more, I found myself questioning whether or not I really wanted to do this. Was it going to be worth all the frustration? Okay, working with paint pens is frustrating. They take a long time to start. 
Paint pens randomly stop. <laughs> Paint pens make you think they're empty way before they do expire. Once paint pens start again, they drop an uncontrollable effluence of paint that can quickly move from inside the letter to outside the letter. After a few letters, paint pens make you think, I got this. Not. Once you tell yourself that, the pen stops. And it can take five or more minutes to get flowing again. And when it does, it's like the dam broke. The one good thing about the puddle of paint is that you can guide it through the letter. And that's kind of cool. That's when you think you got it. <laughs> yeah. That's when you get that false sense of skill because shortly after that, it stops again and the whole mess repeats itself over and over and over again until all four tires were finally done. And when I say done, I mean done painting because you're far from being done yet. Now that you have let the paint dry, and I used a hair dryer to speed this process up a lot. Once dry, it's time to take a razor blade and trim off the runoff to square up all the letters. Using the razor blade too early lifts the paint right off the letter. The result you don't want to experience. I am guarantee you that. So make sure the paint's dry before you start using the razor blade. After the razor blades cleaned up the tires, the tires look great. Amazingly great. The wow factor is set for sure. Just look how amazing that is. The tires were done 10 days ago. And now look at them. They all look cracked up close, which only means the paint shrinks with age. I'm planning to do each tire one at a time to fill in the letters again. How often will I have to do this? Well, I don't know yet. Will I ever do it again? Absolutely not. I'll buy my next set of tires with colored raised letters already. I'm not going to go through this again. Do I recommend it? Not really. Not unless you really, really, really got to have it. But just be prepared. Plenty of paint, patience, and touch-ups constantly are in your future. Is it worth it? Well, not for me. I'm going to say no. I give it a thumbs down. Only immediately after and at a distance does it look amazing. Up close, not so much. Keep your sanity and your money in your pocket and buy a performance mod instead. Well, that's it for this episode, but before you leave, click the like button, subscribe, and ring that bell to set the notifications for all the new content coming your way. It really does matter, and I appreciate your support. I hope this helps your decision to paint or not to paint. And until the next episode, have a great day.